I was asked if I could levitate a magnet, and my answer to that was, well, yes, of course I can. All I need is two magnets, one on top of the other, and something to stop them from being pushed apart. So before I start, if I have two magnets, and they both have opposing fields, they're going to repel each other. But as soon as I stop stabilising the magnet, the magnet will slip to the side and lose its balance from the position that we set it in. So a simple solution to that then is to get a tube, in the case of ring magnets, and put the tube through the magnets. And of course when I put that magnet down on top of the other one, the tube stabilises the magnet, it can't go off to the side, and we get this effect that the magnet looks like it's floating above the other one. Now the follow-on question to that was, can I balance this magnet by itself? And my answer to that is, well, I don't think so, but it would be nice to make a little experiment to see if it was actually achievable. Now before I go any further, I'd like to make a distinction between balancing a magnet, which is what I'm going to try and achieve in this video, and levitating a magnet, which is a whole different subject. For me to balance a magnet without using any tricks, at room temperature, I'm going to attempt to use other magnets to try and create the stabilising magnetic force that's needed. Levitation, on the other hand, is a different subject, and it usually involves superconducting materials at sub-zero temperatures, either that or electromagnets, which create a really strong lifting force. So with all that said, this is an experiment to balance a magnet and see if that's achievable. The basic idea then is to use the natural flux of the ring magnet and then use these small magnets to encircle it and hopefully get it into a position that it will remain stable just by opposing the magnetic field. So this will be the first layout then. I'm going to put the small magnet around the larger magnet and then I'm going to try the magnet on top and I'm going to see what kind of result that I get. Now the first problem I've got is that I want to use all the magnets in the same orientation which are going to push up on the ring magnet. So I'm going to have to drill into the board and get them to sit steady before I go any further. Okay, so this is the basic idea. Then we've got eight magnets in the centre, and these are either all north facing or all south facing, but whichever way they are, they're all the same direction. The position just on the edge of the magnet, or where the ed edge of the magnet will be, and I'm hoping that they're just going to provide enough uplift just to suspend the magnet slightly. These are for a stabilising magnet, which I'm going to attach to the ends of these, and hopefully we can get some lateral stabilisation as well. However, I've just noticed that when I put the magnet on, it's actually just, move your bugger, right, I, when I put, <laughs> ah, when I, <laughs> oh my god, right, stop, when I put the magnet on, it's just over the edge of the of the, the larger ring magnet, so I'm going to move these brackets back 10mm, and hopefully that will give you the distance that I need. So take two then, I've moved all the brackets back, now it's time to put the magnet in the centre, just to get a control of what's actually happening. So here we go, putting the ring magnets onto the smaller magnets. So it comes as no surprise then that the magnet isn't stable and it won't stabilise above the smaller magnets. 
So the small magnets are right in the magnetic flux along the outer edge of the ring magnet. You can feel the repulsion and it just wants to, it wants to hover, but of course it won't stay there because it's just getting pushed over to the side. Now, interestingly enough, if I push the magnet all the way down, stabilizes because I've got through the magnetic field and it's now wanting to just bind to the smaller magnets. So it's time to add some of the stabilizing magnets now. This magnet is pushing away from these magnets here, but if I get one of the smaller magnets as a stabilizer, this actually pushes away from this top edge of the magnets as well. On its side, this hopefully should be pushing against this magnet and either clamping it down or just pushing it in enough so that it creates a stabilizing force around the magnet when all the rest of the magnets are applied. Now all the stabilizer magnets are on, I'll put the ring magnet and lower it down onto the smaller ones in the center. This is what I have then. When I put the magnet in the center, it's quickly being drawn over to the stabilizing magnets. So the flux strength of these magnets is probably a little bit too much, or they're probably a little bit too close to the magnet in the middle. So I'm going to move these brackets back a little bit further and see if we get some more adjustment on these magnets. Another byproduct of these magnets being so close is that it's lifting the magnet or suspending the magnet a lot higher than when I had it just on the lifting magnets by themselves. These brackets have now been moved back and that gives me a lot more control on these stabilizers. And when I put the magnet in the middle now, it does actually feel like there's a lot more control over the magnet. It's a lot more stable. It's not just suddenly trying to rush over to the other magnets. But that said, it is largely the same effect as what I had before. I thought I'd show you what it would be like if I turned all the poles around on these magnets. So these have all been flipped. And when I put the magnet in the center now, it really pushes the magnet down to around about 10 mil off the base magnets that I put in originally. So I dare say, if we had some other kind of stabilizer lower down, that might have a better effect on how this magnet's performing or being balanced in this setup. This then is where I'm going to conclude part one of the experiment. We've got a basic setup and we've got partial suspension of this ring magnet in the middle. And this is where I'm going to ask for your input to see if you've got any ideas on making this a more stable project. And that could be adding magnets to the top, to the side, maybe even a, another ring of magnets, or maybe even altering the setup that I have already. But whatever it is, it would be nice to hear your input and your comments to see if this is something that could be improved upon. That then concludes part one of this video, and I've got one to make a part two, using your ideas and implementing any changes that you might suggest. But that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.